Hi everyone and a big warm welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. The countdown to Christmas is officially on, so I thought I would do a little haul and go through all the Christmas presents that I have bought for Maddie this year. It's something that's been really requested over on my Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'll pop my handle down here for you um, so you can go check that out and hopefully give me a follow if you like what you see. Yeah, so today I'm literally gonna go through all the presents that I've got for Maddie. So they're ones from me, they're ones from Santa, some bits for our Christmas Eve box, everything. So hopefully if you're stuck for a few ideas, you might get some inspiration from this in whatever area you're struggling with. This is the first year that Maddie like really is getting Christmas. She's so excited. She understands about Santa, Rudolph. So it's the first year we're doing a Christmas Eve box. It's the first year we're doing leaving out the mince pie and the carrot for Santa. It's the first year we're um, doing Christmas letters. So, so I don't think I've gone overboard this year, but I have enjoyed shopping for her this year more than I have the past two years just because I know she's going to love it and enjoy it um, and that's just going to make me enjoy it even more seeing the smile on her face and she has been such a good girl. We're in toddler tantrum stage and I have already threatened about five times that Santa is not coming um, but, <laughs> but on the whole she is an absolute angel and I'm really looking forward to treating her and making Christmas as magical as possible for her. Although it's not about the gifts and things, I know, but I just wanna make it perfect. <laughs> so let's get into this video, and if you like what you see, guys, remember to please give it a thumbs up so I know that you've enjoyed this video, and also please subscribe before you leave. So I thought I would actually start off with Maddie's Christmas Eve box first, then go through the sort of main presents that I think I'm going to be giving her from me, mummy, and then the bits that I think are gonna be from Santa in her stocking. So that's the order we're gonna go through. So first off, I wanted to share Maddie's Christmas Eve box, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous wooden box, and it's all um, been personalized and engraved with her name, and says love from mummy there. Um, I went for the bigger option um, because I wasn't quite sure what to put in it and how that might change over the years. And I wanted this to be something that we'll treasure forever until you know, until Maddie doesn't really do Christmas Eve boxes anymore. Um, I got this from a company called The Laser Boutique, um, which I found on Instagram and I love, love, love their stuff. I've got a couple more bits from them that I'm gonna show you in a moment. Um, and what I'm thinking I'm going to put in here is um, like a cozy Christmas Eve night. So I've got matching pajamas for us that I'm Going to show you in a second uh matching new mugs that i'm going to show you in a second and um it's going to have some hot chocolate bits um a christmas story so like a traditional story like the snowman or something special that we can have and treasure forever so yeah that's her christmas eve box so the matching pajamas i've got us this year that are going to go in her christmas eve box are these ones here these are from asda uh they're pink of course because we are a proper girly house and they've got little christmas trees puddings and things all over them and these were seven pounds I've actually managed to get away with buying the children's size for me as well. I've got an age 11 to 12 years, Maddie's got an age 2 to 3 years, which meant I actually got to buy the pyjamas at the child's price. Just, yeah. But yeah, so it means we've got proper matching pyjamas, um, they'll go in her Christmas Eve box and then we can wake up on Christmas morning in our little matching PJs. So the mugs that I've got that are going to go into the Christmas Eve box, I did pay out for special personalised ones. I went for some really lovely Emma Bridgewater mugs because again, I just want us to have them to like just treasure forever and bring out every year. So I got myself the pint sized mug and then Maddie the half pint sized mug, both in the holly so we're matching and then with our names on. I actually went for my proper name on my mug rather than mummy because I've already got the Emma Bridgewater mummy mug, the one that's got the hearts on. So I thought it quite nice for me to have something with my actual name on um, rather than just always being mummy. I love being mummy but it's nice to have something with my name on as well. So yeah, there are little matching mugs. They'll also go in the Christmas Eve box with some hot chocolate bits that we can make and enjoy on Christmas Eve. The next two bits I got from the Laser Boutique, which I think are going to be Maddie's main presents from me. Nothing I've bought is like too extravagant or expensive, but there's a fair few bits and bobs. So it's just trying to work out what's from Mummy and what's from Santa. But I think this is going to be from Mummy. And I got Maddie a little <laughs> gorgeous pink guitar with her her name again engraved on it so it's lovely and personalized and special which you can have forever it is a proper guitar with six strings 
needs tuning. Um, <laughs> not like a, a ukulele, but I thought she would absolutely adore having that to play with and making music. Maddie adores music and dancing and anything noisy and creative. So yeah, I think this will be right up her street and she'll get lots of play out of it. Then the other thing I brought from the Laser Boutique is this massive tent. Obviously it's folded down at the minute. Um, I don't know if you can see from that picture there what it will look like. I'll see if I can pop an image on screen so you can get an idea what it will look like. It's a big round tent um, and it's this really lovely grain star print. Because basically I know Maddie would absolutely love a teepee um, that she could turn into her little den. She could go in there to read books or take her teddies in there for tea parties. But we don't have the space in this house to have a teepee and put it up and keep it up. So I thought having a tent that was a little bit more flexible, that we could put it up and take it down so she could still have the fun of having a den and, you know, something a bit pretty and magical for her, but without me being stuck with a massive teepee and nowhere to put it. So yeah, it comes in this lovely bag, which is great for when, it be, when it's packed away. So easy to store. So yeah, I think she'll really, really enjoy that. I can't wait to put it up and go in there and have our hot chocolates and read stories and things. I think it will just be lovely. So next up, I've got a couple of books. And I actually got these two packs of books from HomeSense. HomeSense upstairs in the kids section have like um, a few toys and bits and bobs. So Maddie is massively into Peppa Pig at the moment. So I bought her a wadge of four, is that four? Five Peppa Pig books. We've got... Fun at the fair, Peppa's new neighbours, Daddy Pig's lost keys, dentist trip and Peppa goes camping. So that should definitely keep her busy for a while. Um, there's loads of Peppa mer merchandise, but so much of the plastic crap, I'm like, I, I'm not buying that. I can't cope with it. Peppa Pig does my head in enough as it is. Books that she can actually learn and read from, I, I'll do. So <laughs> I've got some Peppa Pig books. And then I also bought her these beautiful Peter Rabbit books. Um, it's a pack of two. Um, so one is P is for Peter. So it's an ABC book. Um, so it's just beautiful, traditional sort of Beatrix Potter. And uh, the next one is Sweet Dreams Peter. Obviously, I can't show you it because they're tied together. But I thought that sounded really lovely. It sounds like a lovely bedtime story. So I got those two for her as well. So five, six, seven books there. Also, while we're on the topic of Peppa Pig, I got her some Peppa Pig fleecy pyjamas from Sainsbury's. Um, I thought this set was really cute. So it's got Peppa and a unicorn, little twinkly star on there, which I know Maddie will love. Um, and I thought because they're fleecy, they'll be really nice and snuggy all through like the cold months because obviously we've not had proper, proper winter kick in yet. Hopefully we'll get some snow. And they also come with these lovely socks which are really nice and thick and they've got the grips on the bottom which is great as well so Maddie doesn't slip in the kitchen at all um, and this set was £13 um, but it's lovely quality and I know she'll she'll love it because she's pepper obsessed at the moment so next I've got some bits from Smith's Toys so I'll start off with these princess shoes and crown set um, so it's three little pairs of pretty shoes and a crown um, my mum already bought Maddie some shoes like this but a lot of them have like the bows have come off or they've broken so I thought she could do with some new ones and my sister's bought her a new Frozen 2 Elsa dress and so I thought the pretty blue ones with the snowflakes on would go really nicely with that Maddie actually walks pretty darn well in heels I have to say <laughs> definitely my daughter she loves her shoes and her girly crown and jewelry bits and bobs so yeah she'll absolutely love that and along the same lines of like princess dress up I got her this set so it's a pink crown with a wand, necklace, and some clip-on earrings. Again, um, I know she's going to love it because she's always trying to steal my jewellery and put them on. Always gets upset that she can't obviously put the earrings in because she doesn't have her ears pierced. So having her own little clippy pair of earrings, I think she'll absolutely love. Um, and she's such a girly girl. So yeah, I think she'll really enjoy those two bits. Okay, one last pepper thing. This is literally all the pepper I've let myself buy this year. <laughs> but it is these pepper pig puzzles. So there's four puzzles all in the different shapes and they've got each of the characters on there. Maddie's got a massive ABC puzzle that I bought her for her second birthday. So if you watch that video, you'll know about that. And she's gotten really good at that. So I kind of thought these are the next stage up being having a little bit smaller in more intricate pieces and being slightly different shapes and I thought we'd really enjoy doing those puzzles together so I got that for her then I've got these massive frozen two coloring pages um, again I bought her Peppa Pig ones before and she loved them we've gone through them all so I thought I would get her the frozen two ones because we saw that the other day and she is frozen obsessed at the moment 
So it's, uh, what is it? It's 18 big pages with lots of different um, sort of scenes and characters and things from Frozen on. And then there's also um, stickers that come with it. So I think there's a page of like 100 stickers. So Maddie will absolutely adore that and have lots of fun colouring that in. She loves colouring, painting, anything messy or crafty like that. So yeah. Got her some colouring to do. Final thing from Smith's is this um, book called Good Night Lion. Um, I'm so pleased I picked it up and had a look. So basically it comes with a magic torch. So it's this little torch bit. And what you do is you slide it in here to highlight the different animals to, to find lion's friends and things. So look, there's the giraffe. There's, what's that? Is that a fox? I don't know. But yeah, um, I thought that was really cool. And I thought Maddie would have lots of fun with that. So it's like a nice little like good night book but also just a bit more sort of interactive. So yeah, I bought that for Maddie because I thought she would absolutely love that. And she's obsessed with animals. So having the lions and animals and things, she'll really enjoy that. So next up is this little bit of crap that I picked up in um, Hobby Craft when I was getting the bits to make our Christmas cards with, but I think Maddie will have a lot of fun with it. I'm probably gonna regret buying it because of the mess but I think she'll have a lot of fun with it. And it's this thing called Magic Snow. So basically you pour this powder into a bucket with some water and it makes fake snow that you can play with. Like I said, I'm probably gonna regret it when my house is a mess and covered in fake snow, but I'm sure Maddie will have lots and lots of fun with that. So I thought that would be just a cute little stocking filler and something to do. Okay, so the last lot of stuff is all from Aldi. So Aldi brought out the most amazing collection of wooden toys and I am a sucker for wooden toys so I went a little bit crazy back in like I think when they first came out the beginning of November I just went in there and bought a load of it so this stuff's been stashed under my bed for weeks so yeah I think she'll absolutely adore it all I know there's a few plasticky things that I've bought but I try to stay away from sort of crappy plastic toys and I love wooden ones just because they last longer and they're a bit more like traditional. Maddie can't break them as easily. So yeah, I'll go through all of those bits I've bought from Aldi. First up is this wooden road set. So um, it's got like a track and cars and little buildings and people. Um, Maddie's got quite a similar sort of train set version um, at my mum's house that we used to have when we were little and she loves it. So I knew she'd love having the cars as well. So then it's one that we can have at home. So she's got cars at home and then trains at grandma's house. But yeah, so I know she will absolutely have loads of fun with that. She's quite a tomboy a little bit. She loves her cars, her diggers, dinosaurs. But at the same time, she loves princess girly ballet things, dressing up, makeup, shoes. So she's a real like 50-50 child. Like she's got her tomboy side, but then she's also got her really girly side. Next is this little wooden Noah's Ark set. Uh, and it comes with obviously lots of animals and they've come in twos. Um, but I think Maddie would have lots and lots of fun playing with that. She's really, really into her imaginative play at the moment and um, creating stories and conversations in her head. She's, she's at that age now. So I know she'd have lots of fun with the little animals, like playing with them and putting them in the boat. So yeah, I know again, she'll absolutely love this one. So next is basically a load of wooden toys and things for Maddie's kitchen, um, her little wood, wooden toy kitchen that she's got in her bedroom and we have got quite a lot of stuff for it already but they're old plasticky ones that used to be mine when I was little and so a lot of them have the colors faded the velcros ripped off of them if they were like piecing together ones so I want to kind of like replace them all with nice wooden ones that are hers and that hopefully last a little bit longer I got these two trays of wooden food so we've got one which is meat fish and bread so there's all the little wooden bits in there. And then this one is all your fruit and veg. Um, I thought she'd have lots and lots of fun with those. Yeah, so I thought it'd just be nice for her to have a bit more variety and different bits of food that she can play with in her kitchen. I've then got, um, there's this 12 piece grocery set, which I thought was really cool. So it comes with more sort of like your cupboard stuff. So you've got like a bottle of ketchup, jam, um, what else is there? There's biscuits, orange juice, tea bags, milk, cornflakes yeah some more like cupboard things i and she hasn't had anything like that so i think she'd have a lot of fun out of that she loves ketchup so i know she's gonna when she's make believe playing in her kitchen she's gonna put ketchup on everything <laughs> so there was that i then got her this wooden utensil set and also wooden pots and pans uh they're both quite similar in in the pattern the sort of gray and white spotty um but again there's got there's a few bits in there that she hasn't already got so like she hasn't got like the spatulas and things she hasn't got like plates knives and forks 
Um, so that just kind of like completes bits that she hasn't got in her kitchen. So she can actually make her food and then sit down and eat it. She's already got a couple of like tin sort of um, pots and pans that I brought her for Christmas last year. And those have lasted really, really well. So I thought with the wooden ones as well, it just gives her a nice variety. Um, and then also she got her tin tea set that I bought her for her birthday. So we're slowly building up the kitchen stuff. And I think after this lot, her kitchen will be complete and I can't bring myself to get any more stuff for her kitchen. Otherwise it's gonna just be overflowing. And last but not least for the kitchen stuff is a little wooden toaster set. So again, this is in that really pretty white and gray spotty pattern, but it comes with like a bagel and butter that you can chop up to put on the bread, um, which Maddie will love doing. And also I think this toaster actually goes up and up and down, which Maddie will enjoy doing. We have currently got like a plasticky one, again, that used to be mine when I was little, but it doesn't go up and down and Maddie gets really frustrated not being able to do that. So hopefully she will enjoy having her wooden one and it all matches nicely and it will all look really pretty and she'll have lots and lots of fun with it. <laughs> so the last thing uh, from Aldi that I got is this toy box. I'm gonna try and lift it up so you can actually see what it is. There we go, it's a wooden white toy box. Oof. I have to put that down. That's really, really pretty. I'm gonna give it as a Christmas present, although she's probably not going to be that interested in a box, but basically I just needed like an overflow box for all her extra toys and things that don't fit in the cabinet with the white baskets that we normally have here from Ikea or the couple of overflow bits that she has in her bedroom. Not quite sure where I'm gonna put it, but it was only $29.99 and for the size of it, I've seen ones like this in other places for like double that. So I would have been an idiot not to get it. So yeah, just a pretty white box can chuck all the rubbish and toys in it, close it away, and the house looks nice and tidy still. So yeah, I'm giving it to her as a Christmas present, although she probably won't enjoy it as much as I will. And you know what? The last thing I actually want to show you guys is Maddie's stocking. Um, this is really special because my mum handmade it last year for Maddie, but obviously I didn't vlog over Christmas or much last year because I had a lot of things going on in my life that kind of made me want to take a break from YouTube but I wanted to show you guys it this year because it is so special and my mum is so talented, I adore it. So I showed her some pictures on, um, not on the high street, of various stockings I liked for Maddie. Um, and I was sort of saying, oh, you know, I don't know which one to go for. And mum said, leave it with me, I'll make her one. And it's just the best thing ever. And again, it's something to treasure for years and years and years. And the fact that I'm able to tell Maddie that her grandma made it for her makes it even more special. So, so it's got like a felt top here with her name embroidered on, Madison. Beautiful little trimming here and then the candy cane stripes. We've got a little gingerbread man that's got sort of sequins and buttons on. And then we come down again with the sort of trimming and fleecy thing down here. So it's absolutely stunning. I love it. And I can't get over how talented my mum is. I, yeah, it's beautiful. So I thought that deserved a mention as well. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit more inspiration if you're struggling for those last few Christmas gift ideas. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.